trapped in a cave for a day is pretty awful. But imagine being stuck for two weeks. Hello, True Crimeers. This is Worst Deaths Imaginable, number 62. Viewer discretion is advised. Pictured here was an American cave explorer by the name of Floyd Collins. He would discover caves and then open them up to tourists for money. In 1925, he had ambitions to open up a cave near a main road in Kentucky. So he found Sand Cave and he opened it up. On January 30th, 1925, he squeezed his way through the extremely narrow passageways, where he says he then discovered a grotto. He had been down there for some time already, and the headlamp he was wearing was starting to die, so he needed to find his way out before he was just surrounded in complete darkness. Floyd had lost his way, however, and he got stuck in a very narrow passageway. I don't know for sure if this is that image or not, but this is a very accurate representation of what he was stuck in. But to make matters worse, as he was moving around, a 26-pound rock jarred loose just above him, and it landed on top of his leg. This would pin his leg to the ground, and then he managed to drop his headlamp, and it broke. So he was stuck in a passageway that was just a little bigger than his body. He was pinned under a rock and he had no light. He had no food, he had no water. Now, thankfully people knew he was going in there. So after he did not show up after a day, they sent people in to look for him. And by the end of the following day, they actually found him. Because of the way he was positioned and stuck, they were not able to pull him out, but they did bring him food and water and they brought down an electric light. So this is a drawing of basically what it looked like. The passageway in front of him was too narrow for him to crawl through or to be pulled through. And they did not know how to get behind where he was. He was stuck in there for about seven days. Yeah, I can't even imagine being stuck. Oh God, Jesus, even for a couple of minutes. And then the cave collapsed in two places, making rescue nearly impossible. He would struggle to breathe. He obviously couldn't move. He then couldn't get food or water. They finally managed to dig a hole to reach behind him. But by the time they got there, he was dead. They believe he died on February 13th, 1925. So nearly two weeks from when he went in there. They determined they could not safely remove his body. So they left him in there and they sealed it off. However, Floyd's family members managed to get down there and retrieve his body after a couple of months. They buried him properly, but then his body was stolen. And I shit you not, he was placed back in the cave in a metal casket, where years later he was removed again and buried in a nearby cemetery. Jesus Christ. 